a collective message real quick. We're gonna see where you at. I usually use this format for my spiritual message. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a spiritual message. Wanna well, get your foundation, your money, and your love life. How about that? Ooh, it's already there. Uh -huh. All right, Holy Spirit. Got a holy oil on. That's my granny oil, y'all. Yeah, we're going to do a collective message. Spiritual message. I might write a um, blog. You might can find that on Instagram. TikTok. God damn it, here come a customer. Hi. Honey, I'm home. You would come right when I'm about to do a video. What do you want? Oh, you want? Oh, you want to print the trend? You want me to? Um, you want to scan the book cover? No, but it should be on the book. You deleted them all. No, I ain't deleted them. But we gonna create transfers and you gonna put them on the t-shirts for the kids. Yeah. Okay. All right. That'd be it, cool. It should be already on there because I made it for the last one. Remember? I know. Well, well, you know you gotta come bring the t-shirts. Right, let me, let me, let me, I'm gonna go find them right now. Okay. And we gotta reprint your banner too. Yeah, it's Saturday. Shut up. It's, it's, it's Saturday. <laughs> All right, y'all. I would like to start over. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get to the point before his crazy book come back interrupting us. Spirit of the living God, Holy Spirit ancestors, thank you for these messages. Thank you for the blessings. Um, thank you, Ascended Masters and ancestors for uh, guiding and, and protecting us. We ask all dark energies to remove themselves. In Jesus' name we pray, or whomever you pray to, amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's look at the collective in love, money, to get the spiritual messages because I ain't did those. Yeah, I haven't did one in a couple of weeks. So, yeah, foundation. We're gonna look at your foundation, your love, your money, and your money. Yeah, foundation, love, and money. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, what we got for the foundation? Foundation, you got acceptance, it fell out in reverse. It's something that you're not accepting, which is causing, uh, I'm learning to accept the things that I can't change. So you, some, you need to, mm, yeah, some, some, you're not, some of you need to work on your, um, on accepting some things that you can't change, probably from the past, something that you already done. We got purpose here that, that was flipped up, but we're not going to take that one. Yeah, I don't, I'm trying not to take reversals, but we'll talk about it. I'm going to turn it back around. Yeah, some of you need to work on um, accepting some shit that you can't change. Let it go. Thank God. God damn. Failure. But that's, I guess, that's good. Failure fell out of reverse. I understand that mistakes is only an opportunity to learn. So in your love life, someone failed you or they feel like a failure or they feel like they failed you or you feel like they failed or you feel like you failed them. Somebody need to understand that mistakes happen and it's an opportunity to learn. So ugh, we got acceptance and failure. Oh, come on. So try, trust the process. Fear. You got fear and some money issues. And you got, still got trust at the bottom of the deck. I realize that I am testing and resolving. 
I realize that I am, an, I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So, with the fear coming out in the upright, you are realizing that I am testing to resolve to live in the energy of love. Opposed to being feared about an outcome or a situation about some money or being obsessed with some money, you're, I just heard that you're surrendering to God. You're trusting God's love. And long as you long and love always wins. Long as you are passionate. And I'm not saying that faith without, you know, you gotta have faith. I'm sorry, y'all got distracted. You gotta have to, <laughs> you have to be passionate and, and trust the love of God and the faith in what you're doing, especially if you're in the business of services or helping other people's. You have to live in the energy of love. What's for you is for you. Do not fear. Try. Just do it. Fear is an illusion. What do you got to lose? Don't worry about it. Spirit said the he spirit said I will always make sure the universe will provide for you as long as you are operating in the energy of love. Okay, spirit, speak that. I don't like all this damn. So, someone feels like they have failed you or you failed them in love. I'm just going to turn all this back in the upright because I want to talk about it. But, yeah, something that you need to accept that you cannot change from the past. Stop dwelling on that shit. Or you can't make something or someone change. And that, that's affecting your foundation. You need to accept the shit that you cannot change. Some of you have issues with dealing with acceptance. And if you can't accept when you having issues dealing with acceptance, then that puts the energy of stagnation there because it's something that you need to learn or something that you need to accept and something that you need to move forward from. That even if that's mean taking accountability for some shit that you know that you have done or failed to do. Same thing with failure. Yeah, I say you stuck. Regarding at the gate. But it looks like that's going to turn around. You're seeing things for what they are. You know, you cannot change the past. I understand that mistakes is an opportunity to learn. Someone feels like they failed you. Oh, blossom abundance. So there's some type of new blossom abundance in, in your love life. Or this person going to bring some type of blossoming abundance? That's good. I just heard whatever you went through with your past relationships or in the past, you learned and grew from it. Hi there. Okay, do you got a label already? Okay. You can just set it on the counter. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm going to try to hurry up and wrap this up because I got crazy coming back. Oh, my customer around. He's funny. So you're going to have to 
Quit whatever you fear for some money issues or money problems. Know that you got to have a victory. If you feel like a failure to someone or if you feel like you failed someone, know that that is over. Um, there's some type of new relationship or a renewal of a connection that's going to be very abundant and it's going to be blossoming. As soon as you accept the shit that you can't change, you will be becoming not stuck. Or you're probably sitting and reflecting about the past. But keep moving forward and accept the shit that you cannot change. You can't change it. It already don't happen. Trust the process, okay? I'm going to get right on into it and carry up because we don't have enough interruptions already. It seems like it want to be a busy Monday. Okay. Why I, I turn acceptance back in the upright spirit? Because you told me to turn it in the upright. I want to know why. How was that? Just coming. Look, I'm trying to do my videos. <laughs> Everybody just coming, so I'm and I don't know how to edit, and I ain't got time for that. Yes, I'm doing my videos. Acceptance, garden at the gate. Why is this here? Why is this here? Look, you walk right in that time. What? Yes, Keith. Would you do readings too? You know what? <laughs> well, take your ass across the street then. The devil is a lie. <laughs> we all here. What is you talking about? You ain't doing cards and chanting and shit. Who might got some hot night over there? Who got that moon there? Oh, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Holy Spirit. Okay, something that... Something that you're waiting on in regards to love is coming in soon. You're just stagnant because you need to accept some shit you can't change. Oh, you're trying to manifest something with money and you've been not been working for you. Why is this here? Oh, whatever's not been working, your wish is going to come true. <laughs> I'm doing it for my community. For my followers. She, she making a video. Right now? Yes. yes. She got a change. I have a, I, I have three pages. Serious, <laughs> <laughs> so boss, you didn't know bosses wear mini hats? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He just the time. This she's going to do your shirt. And he up here talk about, he, you going to do it. I'm, I tried to tell him about the shirt, lady. <laughs> Okay, you gotta pay her eight dollars for each shirt that we put on. Eight dollars for me. No, you can't. You're gonna, you're gonna help her. No, you gotta do let her do it. See? See how they do it. I'm gonna have to do this. That's all right. We moving. We we taking over the world. Oh, his ass in his ass in Lansing. I was like, hey, I like him, so I like him. There's a love offer coming in. This is the same way. What the brother this about? This is the second time I came in here. And see somebody, they was going somewhere else, but then we ended up coming here together. Man, oh man. He said, 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 You ain't here chatting shit. Woo! He don't want to spend no money. He don't want to spend no money. He want to do it himself. I seen him over there. He was over there getting some t-shirts. Uh-huh. He told me he was about to do it. I was like, I can't. And that's not the... He always come here with his crazy self. He always come here. We all talking about something. Like, Y'all, your show be how to do it. Because I told y'all, we feel like doing that shit. I'm pretty stressed. 
<laughs> somebody try to keep uh keep somebody waiting. That's what's going on with me. Thank you. She's going. I'm somebody going. trying to keep somebody waiting when it comes to love. Because they feel like they didn't have failed you. Or you feel like you fell in love. But know there's something. You're about to get a love offer from a soulmate. We all we have more than one soulmate. Now, not all soulmates are divine partners. Or you got someone waiting patiently to make you some type of love offer. But right now, they feel like they they're a failure. Or something is not. Because they playing games. <laughs> Yeah, some yeah, somebody playing games. Somebody is failing to uh to make a move. Mm -hmm. They keeping you waiting. Mm -hmm. Oh god, the world card, the cycle. I mean the world card, eight of cups and a ten of swords. You don't want somebody don't want to invest in this shit. Somebody nope. feeling betrayed and getting their feel like they're getting their time wasted. Me, that's me. Oh, your foundation. Why are things not moving forward? Why are your passion down? Because you're not working with the universe. You're not accepting some shit that you can't change. Mm -hmm. Whatever is going on in your foundation that you can't accept it. Uh, that uh, that you shit you learning is some shit you can't change. You need to let that shit go mm -hmm. because that's how you gonna move forward. But acceptance book. Money is nice. Mm -hmm. You put this fear aside gonna have some type of victory don't be manipulative or somebody trying to manipulate you mm -hmm. on some money or some shit but your, but your wishes is coming oh lord yeah somebody need to detach from this devil energy and love bet that's what i'm talking about the world card and the upright cycle closing Get up, stop this fear, eight of swords with the spear card trapped up in your head. Speak your goddamn truth. Cut these toxic motherfuckers or this toxic mm -hmm. stinking thinking from the past off. And what else we got here? And we're gonna close out of love. What who detached from the devil? Who's the devil? A Leo? Yeah, mother love. <laughs> A fucking karmic ass Leo that's in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, somebody try to keep you. You don't let this motherfucker keep you waiting. I and I need to attach from the devil. Leo. Is this some type of soulmate? Why is the two of cups here? Let's get nosy. Oh. Somebody, oh, this person uh, got to get rid of the competition. Or currently he, is he, trying he, to do he's that. Right now. He's going through a divorce, but he's still not. This is not your reason. <laughs> But thank you for the collective confirmation. He's going, he's fighting someone. His street, he's weak. Oh, I almost feel, feel bad for this person. Oh, oh, still stinking bitches and hoes and motherfuckers. He's trying to fight off somebody. He, he focused on that work. He probably has some money issue. Oh my God. That's the truth with the Ace of Swords. Oh, my God, another Leo card. They see you as the sun, though, but they need to speak up and tell the truth about what the fuck is really going on. Oh, this nigga spying on you. This nigga or nigga is spying on you, collector. Oh, yeah, the king of pentacles in reverse. That's my divorce masculine energy. Yeah. Uh, uh, give me some more on your money. What did you trapped up in your head that you need to speak about to give you some type of victory? You need to speak your truth. Your passion. If you got a proposal, say, oh yeah, see, you're gonna get a nice little small offer. Ain't gonna be a lot, but it's gonna be something. Something gonna make you happy. It's gonna wish it's gonna get fulfilled. Another new beginning. Expect a type of message. Small offer. Where keep go? Oh, he's asking. So he he, 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 he gonna come up on that money. I'm gonna tell him you can't work your do your own shirts today. You can't do your own So Let's close out this week with uh, Queen of Cups. Oh, and some type of justice. Look, find your love, find your passion, stop this fear shit, get out your head with this money shit. You're going you're gonna to have some type of victory. 
Some you've been working on that I haven't seen like it ain't been working, but your wish is about to eventually be fulfilled. You got some type of masculine energy and or feminine, it don't matter. Probably most likely a Leo. They got strong Leo on your chart. You feel like they got you waiting. They feel like they failing you or they're a failure. However, the truth of the matter is this person is trying to detach from the devil. The devil is trying to hold on to them. They see you as the sun. That's the truth. They want to work. They're working really hard, but they're the king of Pentecost in Detroit. I mean, I said in Detroit. I said in Detroit. So this person may live in Detroit or might be from Detroit. This kid, this kid of Pentacles in reverse. So this is a man who's a man or a masculine energy that's divorcing or breaking up. Okay, so you may, I mean, we don't wait on no goddamn body, but they are definitely in some type of fights or arguing over money or shit with somebody. But they need to communicate with you about that. Shit. God damn it. All right. Peace out. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you, TikTok. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, um... What's the other platform? Facebook and Instagram. Wherever you see this shit at. I upload eventually. Peace out.